Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to photograph some shiny objects using our diffusion tissue and one single clamp light. So let's get over to the set and begin. And here it is. The objects we're shooting today are some stainless steel flatware on a plate with a silver background. We have our digital SLR camera in the foreground there and our clamp light in the back. So let's have a look at our camera settings. We're going to put the camera on AV for aperture value so we set the f-stop and the camera selects the shutter speed. The lens we're using today is a 10 to 22 millimeter wide angle lens set on 14 millimeters and on manual focus. We're setting our camera on ISO 100 for the finest quality. Our f-stop is being set at f22 which gives us a 1.3 second exposure. We're using evaluative metering, that's the general metering for this camera. And here's our first exposure. This is with a bare light, 150 watts out of our clamp lamp. Obviously not very nice, so let's now add the diffusion tissue. So here I'm going to go in and drop down a roll of tissue paper right over the camera and pull it out across the set. And you can see there how it improves the lighting on our objects immediately. It just is an incredible easy way to do the task. That's really terrific. Just by using the tissue paper between the light and our object we've got control over our lighting with nice smooth highlights. Now I'm going to go in and lower the light a bit to add contrast and a little more drama to the shot. Well, this is great. By just lowering the light, we put a lot more light onto the background, a lot more drama into the shot. Our highlights are nicer, and I think we're ready to go for a final arrangement. So what I'm gonna do is pull the plate a little more under the camera, and I push the knife, the fork, and the spoon back on the plate a bit. Notice that I'm using a stick to move things around. You don't want to get uh, your fingerprints all over these things at this point. It would be very disappointing if you got it just right and then all of a sudden you see a big fingerprint. So now that we've got the final arrangement, let's shoot one here and take a look. Well, that's great. I'm really loving it. We have just wonderful highlights and shadows just by using that one clamp light through the tissue. So give it a try. And also send us your thoughts and let us know what you think when you do it yourself. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and can see that this technique can be used for many different kinds of objects. So look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.